Hello, hello, hello. What is this? This is this is new, new, old. This is new, old, old, new footage. And this should please all the Pink Floyd slash David, Davy, Davy, Davy Boy, Gilmore fans out there. For I found, I found the original files on a memory card of me having a look at the David Gilmore guitar collection. Let's make the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. Um, I don't know if you remember, but he sold all his guitars. He he just plays squires now. He just plays squire strats now because they're just as good. And his missus made him do it. His missus made him do it. But he, he sold all his his guitars for charity. And um, this came out. Um, and last time I looked at it, um, it was before the auction had happened. So it was a good little it was a good little guide to see what kind of instruments you know he had. And you know, and what he was selling off, and it's uh, it's rather nice. But I did an un I don't know, unboxing, uh, look at I don't know, I don't know what you'd call it. But this is what's coming next. I'm 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 gonna talk over it again, and eh, it's, it's something, isn't it? It's 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 better than doing a, having a real job, I suppose. <laughs> ah, I've got another rejection. Rank organisation. And I offered to do three months for free. I don't think they even read my CV, but it doesn't matter because we're here. We're doing this. So yeah, I found this on a memory card. I'm repurposing it. Take it away. Why? Thank you, Darren. And yes, this is the David Gilmore guitar collection. Um, back in the the twentieth of June, uh, David uh, David Davy Davy Boy Gilmore uh, sold 127 of his guitars for oh I don't know millions and millions of dollars. Um, Twenty-one. Point four million dollars. There you go. And some of his best known guitars, including his black strap, were up for sale. But the proceeds go into various cha charities, uh, mainly environmental charities. You know, nothing, nothing useful. Um, but yeah, this this gives a really good indication of what his collection was like, and it's a really good write up as well of you know what the guitars were you know the history of the guitars and whatnot i mean god he's even got a banjo who who could have believed that um but yes yeah, it's, it's it's a really nice if, if you're a gilmore fan obviously or a pink floyd fan it's a really nice catalog you know showing exactly you know what guitars he owned where they were used you know where he got them from you get you get the idea um and there's some really nice Really nice pictures, and if you're a bit of a guitar freak like I am, then you know you'll uh, you'll really appreciate you'll really appreciate the the catalog. It's really cool in that respect. But yeah, there's not much else I can add because it's just pictures of guitars um, and their history. But you know, I mean, I'm again, I can understand why you would um, get to a point in your life and decide I need to get rid of all this stuff because we all we all have collections and we all, you know. Have moments where we go, do I really need all this junk? Um, but it is shocking that he did sell like the Black Strat. You know, some of these guitars that he wrote, the big hits on the big songs. I I'd, personally, I'd find it hard to you know get rid of some of those instruments that I've worked with for so long. But hey, that's his prerogative. That's his that's his deal. Um, but yeah, if you wanna if you wanna copy Gilmore, if you wanna have a you know <laughs> if you wanna have a similar collection to his. Um, you can see exactly what it what he's got. It, it kind of reminds me of I, I know Steve Howe got rid of some of his guitars, didn't he? I'm not sure exactly how many, but I know Steve Howe had an amazingly large collection. Um, wow, I said that is a young picture there of Mr. Gilmore. That must have been the eighties. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he certainly did own a lot of instruments. <laughs> And you, you, it's kind of odd, really, because you know a lot of musicians have loaner instruments, especially when they're touring. You know, they just have stuff that that's loaned to them. You know, so it takes a lot of dedication, it takes a lot of guitar love to build up a, a collection of this size. And like I said, I think it was 127 instruments that were sold. Of course, they weren't all guitars. You'd have banjos and mandolins and you know other other stringed instruments that that are in the collection. Oh, look, a Steinberger. Those the headless ones that we saw an awful lot of in the eighties. Never, never really fancied one of those myself. Um, you know, seen them. You know, Mike Rutherford made them popular around a vis invisible touch time. Um, but yeah, so oh, there's a telly, telecaster. 
and some nice acoustic instruments here and the resonator there but yeah there's is a there is a there he, he had a big old collection oh not not that one <laughs> i saw him i saw him perform with that one when he did his acoustic uh tour then that shame but um but yeah it is such a such a big collection but again like i said we get to a point in our lives where we you know we look at all the junk we've amassed and go time for a clear out um and only and he gave the money to environmental charities which is you know probably probably a waste of money to be quite honest um, should have should have helped the should have helped the children or the animals you know <laughs> but um, that's just that's just me moaning the environment will fix itself it'll wipe us out but yeah some lovely instruments in here all, all manner of varieties of, of you know look at it look at the bigsby's on those you know so it's just a it's a, just a great collection there there's the black and i think he had a few a few copies of it as well that looked the same yeah so he had a he always had a double but i think that's the original yeah look at that there was a there was a book actually dedicated to that guitar wasn't there out a few years back Gordon, probably about 20 years ago now which is dedicated just to the black strat and so there you go and there's the conditions of of, of, the, of the auction and la di la di da and there's a picture of mr gilmore himself and so there you go that's the catalog i'll hand you back to the to that idiot well thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed that amazing astounding video wasn't it amazing wasn't it astounding what a, what a great video so anyway i was talking about this or looking at this the david gilmore guitar collection this is the auction catalog from that there Christie's, they're very famous in the world of auctions, you know that. You're, you're not uneducated, you, you already knew that. And um, yeah, I found the footage, thought I'd yeah, recycle. And that's why we're here, thank you for watching. There's only one more thing left to say, and by now you should know what that is, and that is Progon.